What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about something that we haven't for a while, that being something involving Avengers Endgame and an explanation. This comes in fact from the finale of Avengers Endgame after Tony Stark has acquired all six of the Infinity Stone. A fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe recently pointed out a callback all the way to the first Iron Man movie in 2008. That being during the construction of the first ever arc reactor, Tony Stark indicates that it could be something big for around 15 minutes, and an energy source that could power his body for around that time. It was revealed though that the reason Tony Stark was able to hold all six of the Infinity Stones for so long and take little damage unlike the Hulk was because of the arc reactor, and a lot of the power generated from the stones was going straight to the reactor instead of tearing apart Tony's body. Again though, the second the energy of the stones was dispelled, his body was affected as well. It is interesting though that Tony Stark's arc reactor kept him alive as long as it did. In fact, Tony Stark only said goodbye once the light of the arc reactor had completely dimmed, but it's still interesting that Marvel has come out and said that it was Tony's arc reactor that was absorbing a lot of the energy produced by the Infinity Stone, and that that is why he wasn't taking as much damage as the Hulk did when he had all six of the stones. Again though, even for Tony's arc reactor, the ability to use all six of the stones at once was too much for the great Tony Stark. It should also be noted though that the armor was also helping Tony out a great deal, and the nanotechnology was constantly adapting to the power of all six of the stones. Again, another factor keeping all six of the stones at bay and not killing Tony Stark immediately. I know this is a really short video, but I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. What do you guys think of the reasoning behind the arc reactor actually being one of the factors that allowed Tony Stark to hold all six of the Infinity Stones, the pillars of the universe, on his hand? Do you guys like this explanation, or did you have something else in mind? Again, thanks to Spider-Man coming back to the MCU, there's a big sale on the Avengers MCU merch page, so be sure to check it out using my link in the description down below. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, again at 260k we'll be giving away four digital copies of Endgame. In order to enter that, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments down below what Marvel project in Phase 4 you're the most excited for. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.